No man. I'm beating my full chest. No man. Again. Spent one dime. Hundred naira. In my house. <laughs> Hi Gistas, been a moment. Welcome back to your one-stop channel for hot trending topics and highly engaging entertainment gist in Nigeria, Niger Gist. Don't miss any gist, click the subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated on the latest gist. If you've been subscribed to Niger Gist for a while, you would have come across the profile of a Nigerian business Amazon steadily stacking up funds for a highly sought after reputation in the business of interior decorations and hospitality, Ei Gozier or more succinctly, Ei Ogbebo. She is the Chief Executive Officer of Syavet Interiors and Hotel in Lagos. Ei, who is said to possess a higher net worth more than some of your favorite pop stars, Whiskey, David O and Bonner Boy, gifted herself a seven-bedroom mansion to celebrate a 35th birthday in June 15, 2020. The mansion, which she started building in December 2019, was completed in six months. Just in time for her birthday in June is an exotic display of affluence. With the exterior painted in unimpeachable white and the interior in a mix of gold and black, it is definitely an exquisite testament to A.E.'s taste and glamour. The multi-millionaire mansion, which is a self-gift to the 35-year-old, boasts of a full-size swimming pool, an auto-controlled toilet seat, state-of-the-heart painting and life-size sculptures, amongst other jaw-breaking fixes. Since moving into the sprawling mansion, several Nigerians have jabbed A.E., with some going as low as saying that the business Amazon exploited men who found themselves in a life to build her house. Currently, Ei Ogbebo is trending on Instagram after she publicly dared any man who ever contributed to funding the building of a multi-million naira mansion to come out and speak. If you, as a man, have ever bankrolled Ei, and you don't talk, as a matter of fact, I'm betting a hundred thousand dollars if you're a man and you claim that you've ever bankrolled me. In any way, or you spent some A's public and visibly vexed driven there is the reaction to rumors that Mansion is a product of patronage from male friends and associates, especially after showing off a new lover who is the chairman of the National Union of Road Transport Workers NURTW in Lagos State, Musiliu Ayinde Akinsoya, popularly known as MC Olomo. The interior decorator and building contractor said no man gave her a dime and has cursed anyone who did but is keeping mute over it. According to AE, while she would not have responded since she blocked most bloggers who have carried purported fake gist about her on social media, she has opted to react to this one as it gives off the false impression to young ladies that they need to be with a rich man to attain success. AE in the clip makes reference to billionaire power couple Jay-Z and Beyonce and how the queen of pop does not rely on her husband for her needs. In inference, AE boldly claims that she works hard for her money and needs no man to keep her financially stable as the rumors tend to make people perceive her. For those in the interior decoration business, AE is a big fish who has carved a niche for herself amongst the lucky axes having beautified and handled many homes with her tastefully designed interior decors. However, the trigger for this dare comes hours after she shared a video of the president of National Union of Road Transport Workers NURTW, MC Oluomo, at an event hosted by the Oluwo of Iwo. AE earlier shared a photo with NURT boss but covered his face with a big MOG with the inscription King. But Nigerians got the identity of the transport president through his outfit in another clip. The confirmation required that they are in a relationship has also come from one of MC Oluomo's sons on Instagram with the handle at King West, who commented on the AE's post, describing her as his father's wife. Although AE works hard for her money and is estimated to have a net worth of $500,000, she has been linked to several high-profile men including her ex-husband Kenneth Brymore, a billionaire oil magnet, thus fueling insinuations that AE may have fleeced the men to improve her net worth. But why does anybody think that the men in AE's life may have given her money to build her house or acquire any other property? It is because AE has only been associated with money bags. We start off with her most recent relationship with MC Oluomo, regarded as 
highly controversial but influential within Lagos State's transport, social life and political business, MC Oluomo has a reputation for being wealthy and generous. He currently presides over unarguably the most profitable state in Nigeria for transport business, with the commercial transporters conveying millions of passengers daily within and outside the city. Findings show that the NURTW in Lagos has 180 branches spread across the 20 local governments and 37 local council development areas LCDAs. On a daily basis, the state generates millions of naira daily in tickets alone, apart from other levies on motorists with some of the revenues unaccounted or budgeted for. It is suggested that bulk of these unaccounted funds is under the control of MC Luomo, consequently putting his net worth at more than double of what AE has. The transport magnet also has a reputation for generosity which many believe AE must be benefiting from. When confronted with this reality late in 2020, AE insisted that she is in love with NURTW leader who is married to three other women with nine children. Before hooking up with MC Oluomo, AE was previously linked to realtor Kelly Osefwale. Months ago, the interior decorator was accused by Nollywood actress Etinosa Idemudia of running the home of Osefwale through their tryst relationship. Osefwale was said to have met AE when he patronized her business. According to bloggers, the realtor beat his wife, Fidelia, on several occasions because of AE, while MC Oluomo's new girlfriend would usually call the wife on the phone to threaten her. In fact, the bloggers claimed that Osefwale spoiled AE with gifts, including purchasing a huge generator to power at home. Ehi never gets off the list with billionaires and has once been linked to billionaire clergyman, Prophet Jeremiah Fufayi of Christ Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry, Wari, Delta State, which she later denied. Much before she became more sought after, the mother of three was the fourth wife of billionaire oil magnate Ken Brymore, who also met Ehi when he purchased some expensive furniture from her showroom. The marriage lasted only eight months with Ehi branding Ken as a courtist who wanted to use their daughter for rituals. Also recall that Ogbebo's big break was when she landed a job to furnish a 4,000 meter square building owned by an undisclosed Nigerian senator. It is perceived that such huge contracts could not have been given out so freely without any relationship involved. A.E.'s anger is well understood but the general conception as seen in conversations on social media is that the female gender is overtly reliant on males for financial sustainability in Nigeria. It is the common example that follows the you scratch my back I roll yours in local parlance. In A.E.'s case, a links to men who are obviously of higher financial status, especially in this day, has made it quite difficult to distinguish a success as a self-made story from the usually perceived men-fleeced story. It is not the first time the chief executive officer of Sayaveth Interiors and Hotel has tried to explain to people or justify the fact that the luxury she enjoys is a product of her hard work. Now back to the question, why do you think that the men in A.E.'s life may have given her money to build her house? House or acquire any other property? Will the men who have previously been in A.E.'s life have the guts to publicly respond to her dear if they really sponsored her? We would like to hear your thoughts. Share them with us in the comment section. Well, if you didn't know A.E. Ogbebo quite well before this clip, you can check the link below to know about this woman who is richer than Afro pop stars Whiskey, David O and Burner Boy. That's it for today's gist. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below your thoughts. Give this a like share with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep you updated for more latest celebrity news from my dad